Question 15C. The entry points R and Q to a national park can be reached via two straight access roads. The access roads meet the national park boundaries at right angles. The corner, P, of the national park is 8 km from R and 1 km from Q. The boundaries of the national park form a right angle at P. A new straight road is to be built joining these roads and passing through P. Points A and B on the access roads are to be chosen to minimise the distance, D kilometres, from A to B along the new road. Let the distance QA be X kilometres. Part 1. Show that D squared equals X plus 8 squared plus 8 over X plus 1 squared. Triangle BRP is similar to triangle PQA, hence corresponding sides are in the same ratio. So BR over 8 is equal to 1 over X. So I've formed an equation here, and we're going to solve for BR by multiplying both sides of the equation by 8. So BR is equal to 8 over X. Now let D equal AB. Now in triangle BCA, notice that I've formed triangle BCA by extending BR a little further and expending AQ a little further to the left so that they meet up at point C. So we have a large right angle triangle and we can apply Pythagoras theorem. So D squared is equal to AC squared plus BC squared. Now AC is the sum of X and 8. So that's X plus 8 all squared. And BC is the sum of 8 over X and 1. So that's going to be 8 over X plus 1 all squared. So D squared is equal to X plus 8 squared plus 8 over x plus 1 squared as required. Part 2. Show that x equals 2 gives the minimum value of d squared. From part 1, we have d squared equals x plus 8 squared plus 8 over x plus 1 squared. So we need to differentiate the right hand side with respect to x. Let it equal 0. Find the stationary point by solving for x, and then find the nature of that stationary point and show that it's a minimum. But before we do that, we need to express the right-hand side using index notation. So 8 over x needs to be written as 8x to the power of negative 1. So d squared is equal to x plus 8 squared plus 8x to the power of negative 1 plus 1 all squared. Next step is to differentiate the right-hand side with respect to x, and we can use the chain rule to differentiate x plus 8 squared and 8x to the power of negative 1 plus 1 squared. So d dx of capital D squared is equal to 2 times x plus 8 plus 2 times 8x to the power of negative 1 plus 1 multiplied by the derivative of what's inside the brackets, which is negative 8 times x to the power of negative 2. Now to find the stationary point. We can do that by letting the right-hand side equals 0. But I'm also going to expand the brackets as well and simplify the right hand side while we're at it. So we have 2x plus 16 minus 128x to the power of negative 3 minus 16x to the power of negative 2 equals 0. Now these terms have negative indices and we can see that the smallest one is negative 3. So I'm going to multiply all terms by x cubed which will turn these negative indices into positive indices. In fact, the negative 128x to the power of negative 3 will turn into a constant term, in fact, and x to the power of negative 2 will just turn into positive x, and we can do that by multiplying everything by x cubed. So we have 2x to the power of 4 plus 16x cubed minus 128 minus 16x equals 0. We can see that all terms, including the constant term, have even coefficients, and the constant term is also even, so we can divide all terms by 2. So we have x to the power of 4 plus 8x cubed minus 8x minus 64 equals 0. And we can factorise the left-hand side by grouping in pairs. So x to the power of 4 plus 8x cubed, we can take out x cubed as a common factor. So we have x cubed multiplied by x plus 8, and for negative 8x minus 64, we can take out negative 8, as a common factor, so I'm going to have minus 8 times x plus 8, and that equals 0. Now x plus 8 is the common factor in these two terms, so the left-hand side can be written as x cubed minus 8 times x plus 8 equals 0.
Now note that x needs to be greater than zero because x represents a distance. So we're only interested in solving x cubed minus eight equals zero. So solving for that, we can add eight to both sides. So we have x cubed equals eight, taking the cube root of both sides, we get x equals two. So next we need to find the nature of that stationary point. And we can do that by testing the value of the derivative on either side of x equals two. So I'm going to choose x equals 1 and x equals 3 and just find the value uh, of the derivative at that point, or at those two points. So f dash of 1, so I'll just go back to the derivative, so using this expression here, so substituting x equals 1 and also x equals 3, but let's just find the value of the derivative at x equals 1. We get negative 126, so that's a negative gradient. F dash of two is equal to zero, because that's our stationary point, which we just found. And F dash of three is equal to 15.48 and so on, which is a positive gradient. So therefore the stationary point at X equals two is a minimum. Hence X equals two gives the minimum value of D squared.